All right, uh, let's look at the homework 12.3, problem number eight. All right, so here uh, we have two vectors and uh, we want to find the uh, orthogonal projections of vector B onto uh, vector A. So uh, let's do that. All right, so uh, before we find the orthogonal projection, I'm gonna go ahead and find the uh, vector projection. All right, so uh, uh, P projection. All right, of vector B onto vector A. All right, so this is going to be simply, uh, remember that we just do uh, A dot B and then uh, divide by the uh, uh, magnitude of A. So this will give you the scalar projection. Then we just have to multiply by the unit vector uh, with the same uh, direction as vector a, right? So which is that? All right. So uh, let's compute that. So this is going to be equal to, all right? Dot product. Uh, so two times four uh, is eight. Plus eight times six is uh, uh, forty-eight. All right. Then the magnitude of a would be square root of Two squared it would be four plus uh, eight square is uh, sixty-four. Right? Then you are multiplying by right vector a with uh, it would be two comma eight, and the magnitude is exactly the same. So it's a square root of. I'm going to go ahead and add them up as sixty-eight. Right? So what you get is going to be. All right, so 8 plus 48 is uh, 56. And then divided by, all right, so it's a square root of uh, 68 times square root of 68 would be 68. And then you have uh, 2 comma 8. All right, so we should be able to uh, simplify a little bit. Uh, so both are even numbers, so it's going to be uh, 34 and divide by 2 so it's going to be 28 it's too even so divide by 2 so it's a 17 and divide by 2 it's going to be 14 All right so uh, uh, let's see actually this is a, a, a multiple of 2 so we can pull that out too so this is going to be, I'm going to pull out 2 and combine with 14. So 28 over 17. And it's going to be 1 because 2 is pulled out. So it's going to 2 becomes 1, 8 becomes 4. All right. So uh, let's type it in. All right. So we have uh, 28 over 17 and uh, 1 comma 4 All right so uh, let's go ahead and uh, check the answer oops uh, I wanted to find the uh, orthogonal projection so we have to actually do a subtraction uh, sorry about that so you have uh, orthogonal projection is going to be B minus uh, uh, vector projection. So what we need to do is uh, take the original vector uh, B, which is uh, four comma six, and uh, I would have to subtract. All right. So I'm going to actually go ahead and multiply out. So twenty-eight over seventeen times one is twenty-eight over seventeen. All right, and then uh, 28 over 70 times 4, so it's going to be, let's see, the denominator is 17, I can do that, and uh, 4 times 8 is 32, and 4 times 2 is 8, so it's going to be 112, All right, so let's go through this uh, subtraction, uh, common denominator would be 17, 
So I'll put that here. All right, then uh, let's see. So you have to multiply by 17. So uh, 4 times 7 is 28. And 4 times 1 is 4. So it's a 68. And then minus uh, 28. All right, comma. All right, 6 is going to be, so take the common denominator 7. Uh, 6 times 7 is uh, 42. And 6 times 1 is 6, so it's 102. Then you have to subtract 112. Right? So this is going to be, uh, let's see, uh, 40 over 17, comma. So this is going to be negative uh, 10 over 17, All right? So I'm going to actually pull out, uh, let's see, the both in common, uh, let's see, 10 over 17, then 4, comma, negative 1, All right? How about that? So let's um, rewrite that, All right? Let's see. So what we got was um, uh, 10 over 17. And uh, then we have, uh, uh, what was that? Uh, let's see. 4 comma negative 1. All right. So this time we should probably got that one right. So check the end. All right. I came back and looks like we got this one correctly. All right. So let's... Uh, pick the correct picture, right? So you have a vector A is sitting here, and this is vector B, right? But the projection of B onto A, it has to be on A, so this is not the correct picture. How about the second one, right? So this is vector B and vector A, then this is a projection is on along A, so which is good. And then orthogonal projection is perpendicular to A, and uh, this is actually the correct picture. All right, so what's wrong with this one? All right, uh, orthogonal projection is along B, this shouldn't be right. And here, uh, let's see, uh, here, orthogonal projection is along A, so this shouldn't be right. So this is the correct picture. All right, so let's t uh, check the answer. All right, it came back, and looks like we got this one correctly as well. All right, uh, that's it. I hope that uh, this was clear.